Over 1,000 businesses, lenders, brokers, and foreign buyers recently attended the annual conference of the Export Import Bank of the United States. Among those attending was Jean-Louis Ekra, president of the Export Import Bank of Africa. During an interview with him, he says his institution is unique. Uh, we are probably the only ex im bank that actually finance export and import. From what you understand, what has stopped Africa from diversifying in its trade? And why is Africa not selling processed uh, goods rather than raw material? One of the problems of our continent in terms of uh, achieving the degree of processing has been the political will and the means. Once you have developed the political will, then you can develop the means. And fortunately, when the price of commodities go up, the uh, inclination to just sell those commodities as they are is there, rather than trying to uh, give them uh, further degrees of uh, processing. And one of the things that our bank has been doing, we have what we call an export development finance program, where we team with uh, U.S. Exim, Exim China, Exim India, to bring equipment in Africa, but equipment that can help Africa process their goods, change this old paradigm whereby Africa is just a provider of raw material, which it has been since the colonial times. So we're trying to change that. Are there people who are directly benefiting from Exim Bank? Africa that have been able to trade abroad as a consequence of the programs that you have? Yes, there has. There has been. Uh, the, the one that we have been uh, mostly uh, involved in are uh, provide provision of uh, heavy equipment. Uh, you take uh, extractive industries like uh, uh, gold mining or, or even oil to some extent. They need equipment. So some of the financing thing have gone to that. But to my knowledge and uh, what we've been participating in is providing guarantees to some of those commercial banks in Africa who need lines of credit from the U.S. exit uh, in order to then own land to small and medium enterprises. We have done that too. Some have said that uh, if Africa could maximize on the market that in, uh, exists within the continent, there's a continent of uh, close to what, a billion people, one billion, one billion. that it would perhaps not even worry so much about export for now. Now, what can be done to achieve that? Because there's very little trade that is happening between African countries. The first thing that needs to be done is to apply uh, all those agreements for integration, free movements of goods and people. And fortunately, we are not fully there yet, but efforts are being made for more integration so that the trade that goes, let's say, between Ivory Coast and Ghana or between Kenya and Uganda uh, is not uh, informal trade. It is official trade. The other thing that needs to be done is diversify your product. Because if you continue to be a provider of raw material, uh, generally speaking, all of them are provider of raw material. So who is going to buy raw material from another? You need to buy manufactured goods. It looks like, um, although the governments of Africa are in fact um, uh, run by smart people, they have uh, very highly educated people within the governments and government agencies, but there is no indication that there is a willingness to make these changes, to speed up the development of infrastructure, to diversify. It's not like nobody knows. Conversation goes on for 10 years, 20 years. Do you think there's a chance that things will change in Africa then in the next uh, even 10, 20 years? I, I, I do think and I want to believe that it will change. 
I don't, I don't know. We've, we've been trying in most of those meetings that we had, we've been trying to uh, find out what is stopping things from happening. We have all those plans. The Lagos Action Plan is uh, more than 30 years old. The way all those plans are there. And when it comes to uh, implementation, then we, uh, we, 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 we get into, uh, into problems. The best thing is to say, let's look ahead and let us decisively now implement those things. Jean-Louis Ekra, President, Export Import Bank of Africa, spoke to us here on In Focus.